Hi and welcome. In today's video, I'll be looking at using Polya's problem solving process. More than 120 years ago, a Hungarian mathematician called George Polya developed an algorithm for solving problems. This can be used in a range of disciplines. He asserted that the stages involved in solving problems of any nature were fourfold. The first stage must be to understand the problem. Here is where you will ask yourselves what is known about the problem? What is unknown? What is required? What about the type of answer? What type of answer is required? Have you previous experience solving a problem like this? Unearthing the answers to these questions helps you to understand the nature of the problem you are to solve. The second stage is to devise a plan. Here, you are going to decide on one of the strategies you know to solve the problem. Sometimes you may have to create your own strategy to solve a problem. The third stage is to execute the plan. This involves using the strategy you have selected in the second stage to solve the problem. And the final stage is to review. You are going to review to check for reasonableness or accuracy of your answer. Remember that although Polya's problem solving process can be used to solve myriads of problems, it is not a problem solving strategy when taken by itself. Here's a good example. At a Pagwa festival, four ninths of the audience were female and the remaining portion was male. One third of the females and three fifths of the males were adults. If 140 children attended, how many persons altogether attended the program? To solve this problem, we are going to use Polya's process. The first stage is to understand the problem. This is done by asking yourself the question, what is being asked? In this case, we are asked to find the total number of persons attending the Pagwa festival. Then you ask yourself, what is known? In this case, we know the fraction that represents the female attendees, the fraction that represents the male attendees that were adults, and the number of children attendees. Then you also ask yourself what kind of answer is required. Is it a fraction? Is it a decimal? Is it a percentage? We know that because we are dealing with people, we must get a counting number. And it is also reasonable to assume that the number is greater than 140. This is because they are 140 children, and since they are children and adults attending the festival, it is fair to say that they are more than 140 attendees at the festival. The second stage is to devise a plan. Here is where you are going to ask yourself, have you ever seen a problem of a similar nature before? If you have, then because of its familiarity, you can use the same approach to evaluate the problem. If not, then you ask yourself what strategy you can employ. Perhaps you can employ either of one of these strategies. Maybe it might be guess and check, using a table, using a simpler model, bar modeling, logical reasoning, using a drawing, using box method, or it may be working backwards. If one of these strategies cannot be employed, then it may be necessary to devise your own strategy. However, in this case, we are going to be using bar modeling. 
Now let us execute the plan. Here is where you actually solve the problem. Let us recall some facts. The question said that four ninths of the audience were female. So this bar that is cut into nine equal portions can represent the total attendees at the festival. And four of the nine portions would represent the female. Let's put this portion in red. This means that the remaining portion in blue represents the male. They went on to say that one third of the females were adults. This means that the four red strips must be divided into three equal parts. This can be done if we were to divide each of the four red strips into three equal parts. But for convenience, we will divide each of the blue into three parts also. Our revised model would look like this. We now can see that of the 12 red strips, 4 would represent the female adults and of the 15 blue strips, 9 would represent the male adults. Let's color code it like this to get a better picture. These are the female adults. These are the girls. These are the male adults. And these are the boys. But remember, they told us that there are 140 children. And we know that children consist of boys and girls. So that the six strips that represents the boys and the eight strips that represents the girls sum to 14 strips. So that 14 of the rectangular strips would be equivalent to 140. These represent the total number of children. If 14 of the strips represent 140, remember each of the strips are of equal area. So that one strip would be equivalent to 140 divided by 14 which would give you 10 persons. So that one of the strip would represent 10 persons. Keep in mind that the total number of strips that represents the total attendees at the program is 27. So that 27 of the strip would be equal to 10 times 27, which is equivalent to 270. And so, we conclude that the total number of individuals at the Power Festival was 270. The final stage of Polya's process is to review your solution. Here you will check to see if your answer is a possible solution by working backwards. There are several other strategies you can use to check to see if your answer is a possible solution but in this case, we will be using the strategy working backwards. You can also check to see if your answer is reasonable. We can tell that our answer is reasonable because our answer exceeds the number of children that were at the Padua Festival. Remember they said that at the festival, we had children and adults. You can also check to see if there were other approaches you could have taken. In doing so, you will ask yourself, was it the most efficient strategy from among the strategies you know? Now let us work backwards and see. Remember, four ninths of the total number of attendees were female, so that four ninths of 270 will give me 120. They also told us that a third of the females, that is a third times 120, would be equal to the number of adults. 
that is the number of adults that are female and this is equal to 40. We were also given information that 5 ninths of the total number of attendees were male. If 5 ninths of 270 is 150, they told us also 3 fifths of the male were adults. That is 3 fifths of 150 is equal to 90 adults. So, so far we have the number of females, the number of female adults, the number of males, and the number of male adults. Let us now find the total number of adults. The total number of adults would be 40 plus 90, which is equal to 130. If 130 of the attendees were adults, bearing in mind that the total number of attendees was 270, then the number of children can be obtained by saying 270 minus 130 and this will give me 140 and this was the initial information given. This proves that our answer is correct. This is the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe.